M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Quick one here using repeater book and chirp. Now we do have chirp here. We've got the all in one cable at the moment, as you can sort of see there. Pretty sure the, the proper one is the SCU35, but I'm using this all in one, which I got from Rugby Radios. Let's find it. We just open a new window here. Rugby Radios all in one you'll find it there scroll down and they're only about 10 pound look well worth it and you can do lots of radios with it so that's the one i'm using so back to chirp now we plug the cable in the, the you plug the third one on this device here it's the third one along cable along mark, labeled m1 and it's just a 2.5 mil it goes in the bottom hole okay the bottom hole, the smaller plug, not the 3.5. Once that's in there, it will go right click on your device manager and the port will show up. There it is there, the content. Okay, on mine, it'd be a different number on yours. You can then, if you like, read from the radio. So you go download from radio, at the radio at the top, download. Select your port, which is the 10. Yesu FT65, all drop down lists. Yesu FT65. And let's press OK. Don't worry if you get an error, just do it again. But it's cloning from the radio. Now we're going to go over to Repeater Book, which is here, which is a free program. If you go to click Home first, I'll put the link in the description. Click Rest of the World, which is on this list here. You get all these. Let's find UK. Scroll down to UK. There you go. And you've got, oh, you've got 750. That's too much. So let's just find our, let's find Bristol, I think. Let's try Bristol. So we go, where is it? Bristol. Should be here somewhere. Where's that gone? There it is, Bristol. Right, seven repeaters there, look. We don't really need the, the six meter one. Anyway, let's download it anyway. So we open up fully here. And it says the word export. It will tell us the one that won't go in the radio. And it looks even got plus is on air, off air, testing, ETC. So these colors mean something. So let's go export. We want it for chirp, but look, you can get it for other icon, other items, RT systems, icon, GPX, travel plus, any tone, etc. So we want chirp. Click OK. And it's going to give us this file. Do we need to agree? And then we can select some options: call sign, location, you know, frequency, the order, and you know, it doesn't really have to. And click download. So there's our file, and then put that file somewhere where you're going to find it. Hopefully it's in my downloads now. Now go to your chirp, which is here. Go file, and then we're going to go open. We're going to find, there it is there, chirp, which is put in my downloads folder here, downloads. And it will bring it to a new tab. So at the top here, you've got tabs. Each time you do anything, you get a new tab. When we first read, it's there. So there's the new tab there with our that we just created in repeater book. But we want these channels to go here so we can send them to the radio. And by the way, just so you know, you can also look at banks. Here, look, memories is the first tab. Second, which is your normal memories, you can add a normal memory channel 145.750. You can add names, GB3, select tone. And tone squelch, tone frequency, etc. You can move along. There's more settings there, power and everything. And what, if you were done now, you go right and then upload to radio. But we're gonna get this file. So how do we get this file? We go file. First of all, we'll, we'll click here on the left on the one from the repeater book. I'll, I'll ignore the 50 meg one. We'll do that. So we'll go file. Copy, let's just do it a minute. File. There it goes. You want it in blue. Then we go File, Copy. Go back to the first tab, click at the top here, right click, and then go Paste. 
and it, look, it hasn't put in the ones that it doesn't like but, you know get rid of the ones you don't like but it's put them there and once you've got them there then you can just send them to the radio so we've got upload to radio click OK and if there's an error on one of its digital saying it, it will tell you and then just go OK you can see the radio now says TX so if that helps you, you can use repeater book with the FT65 and it will work with the FT4 as well. So thanks for watching my channel. Hope this helps. 7 for 8, we'll just quickly unplug the cable when it's done. It says clone OK, turn off, turn on. And then we can go up and down through the memories. There you are, we can add hundreds of memories, well I don't know what the limit is. I'm in dual band, how do you do that? You just turn it off, hold down the button beneath the PTT and the PTT. Quite hard to do. You get this special menu. It hasn't done it, let me just push again. Keep it down. Let me just uh, pick it up and do it a minute. that did it and then look just go down to menu 8 and then select it push the F button I'm gonna go back into single mode now because that's how you get out of it okay thanks for watching my channel 73 remember rugby radios for the cable 10 quid bargain I don't want the postages and chirp as well bye for now 73